you know, I love it. I think it's weird just seeing all like the coaches and players I'll be playing against, but um, you know, it's definitely just a reminder the season's around the corner. How does that feel? The season's right around the corner. So excited for that. I can't wait for the season to be here and um, just playing in front of the fans again, just having the energy that, you know, both Gamble and XL bring. Super exciting and, you know, just having something to defend this year just makes it even more exciting. The night before the first game of the year, what, what's that feeling for you, Alex? Nervousness. But nervous, excited, I'd say. I just lay in my bed just thinking about how the game's going to go and just, you know, just antsy just to get out there and play again. It's like, it's really feel like a little kid, just, you know, just super excited to play basketball again. And, um, you know, just the, exci the, the excitement that the season brings, it's always a new feeling of joy. And um, I just can't wait to get out there. Different role for you this year. Mm -hmm. Different team yeah. around you. You're, uh, you're one of the feature players this year. Mm -hmm. How yeah. does that feel? It feels great. I mean, that's something as a kid I've always wanted to happen at the college level, and now that's happening at a program like UConn makes it a thousand times better. And, um, you know, I'll be up for it. I know myself, Tristan, Donovan, we're excited to take on this new role and, um, you know, just really trying to repeat what happened last year and not just only for myself, but I want the new guys, the freshmen, Cam, to experience how it is to feel that feeling of winning again. And, um, because that's a feeling I'll never forget. It's a memory that won't be taken away from me. So how do you do it? How, how do you repeat? I mean, it's a million-dollar question, but mm -hmm. it's a completely different-looking team this year. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. I think it starts with the leadership that myself, Donovan, and Tristan bring. I think setting it on the court with how hard we play, we have to do that. But then also just using last year's experiences and just teach them what the expectations are for this year. And then, um, you know, just continue to be ourselves. I think every we have such a talented team this year and that, anyone could really go off on any given night and uh, just really letting the game come to us. You had the the freshman thing slapped next to your name last year. So leadership doesn't really come with being a freshman. Mm -hmm. And you have leaders around you. You have Andre, you have Adama, you have Jordan. They're all gone. Yeah. The word leader, what does that mean to you? Yeah, it means just, you know, oof, that's tough because, you know, leader, you could do it in so many different ways and that, uh, you know, you saw that last year with Andre and Adama. So um, really just being yourself out there and just setting the example on how, you know, the team should be. And, you know, it should be a reflection on how Coach Hurley's, how Coach Hurley is the team should be. But then also it should be a player-driven team as well. And that's something that, you know, a leader has to be, whether you want to lead by example on how hard you want to play or lead by vocals on, you know, continuing to encourage the young guys, you know, keep going, keep battling, you know, practices are intense, but just continue to get their confidence going. What sort of growth can we expect from Alex Caravan on the basketball court from a year ago? I think it starts with the defensive end. I think Coach Hurley has really emphasized that a lot this year and just being a much better defender than I was last year to where I can guard the best forwards in the country. And that's something I learned from last year. So I struggled with that at times. But um, I think it starts with defensive ends and being a lot tougher on the backboard as well, being an elite rebounder. And then offensively, I mean, it's going to come to me. It's just the versatility and just being more versatile instead of always relying on my three-point shot. Dude, you guys won the national championship last year. Mm -hmm. The confetti fell and then was cleaned up. And then yeah. you went to the White House. Actually, before that, there was a parade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that must have been a dream. It was a dream. I mean, something new was happening every day, it felt like. And... Um, all of those events are something I'm never going to forget. I mean, being in the White House itself, meeting the president was insane. Being what was that like? Crazy, crazy. Just seeing the president walk out was a surreal moment. I mean, it was unbelievable. And then just being inside the White House, too. I mean, you know, go on, like, those eighth-grade field trips and visiting the White House and stuff. You wouldn't be inside the White House. And then now I'm actually inside the White House. It was unbelievable. And, you know, you see all the pro teams do it as well when they win a championship. So just having that honor as well is so special. What was the food spread when you were at the White House? We, we, we ate before, so we didn't get to have Really? That. Yeah, we had, we had a nice team meal at uh, some spot right near the White House. Well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> what was the coolest experience that you had in the off season in relation to winning the national championship was it the white house as close as the white house i'm gonna say the parade though i think yeah. just having fifty thousand people just flood the streets of hartford and just just yukon pride everywhere i think it just really shows how much we did for you know the entire state new england and um 
you know, just the support. There's, we couldn't thank them enough for their support, and they really showed out, and it was awesome. I think you got whacked with the tree branch when you were. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> All right, Alex, what's next? You know, just take it day by day, stay in the present, but obviously defend what we won last year, but also reach new expectations with the Biggies this season. Go do it again. Yes, sir. Let's Good do to it. See you. Thank you.